Hi guys, I'm gonna do something like this. Or maybe something like this. This process used countless times throughout movies and TV shows to add special effects, backdrops, text, robots or any kind of elements that you want to add. You name it. Great day, welcome back to the brand new exciting video. If you are new here, this is Divinson here for my channel. I make videos here on YouTube about filmmaking. If you are into that stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss a thing on my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to do camera tracking inside the Adobe After Effects and this will help to all the new filmmakers, content creators and especially for bloggers. So what is this camera tracking? Camera tracking is a process which involves taking a pose that has been filmed with the real life camera and tracking its motion so that 3D elements can be added to it. And I'm going to show how we are going to do that inside the Adobe After Effects. This tutorial will give you a complete beginner's introduction from zero to what it is and how to start using it and I'm going to give you all what I've got so hold your seats or popcorn or whatever let's get started I'm gonna open up the After Effects and make a new composition and I'm gonna change the resolution right here 1080p and then hit ok let's drag the clip in the composition and fit to the window right here once done I'm gonna scrub through the timeline where the clip ends and right click over here and select the trim curve to work area now if I play the video clip it's quite shaky so I want to reduce the camera shaking a little bit I'm gonna go effect panel and find the warp stabilizer and then grab it to the clip it takes some time what this warp stabilizer does it's reduce the camera wiggling if you check and uncheck you can just see the difference see check uncheck once done i'm gonna select the video clip and right click and pre-compose the clip i'm gonna name it as stabilized hit ok and then select the layer and I'm gonna go into the animation and hit the track camera. It's gonna take some time so I'm gonna skip it. Once done camera tracking it's gonna appear this camera tracking points all over the video clip. When we are selecting the points we must select the steady and solid point which in the entire video clip. So I'm gonna select this one point and right click and hit the create text and camera. You can just add anything you want in there and then I'm gonna adjust the text layer positions, rotations from the gizmo. Since it's a 3D layer you can do whatever. I'm gonna double click on the text layer and type enter. And on the right side text effect window I'm gonna change the text font and scale a bit. And let's grab just a bit here and little bit of a rotation and let's change the size of the text as well. And I'm gonna type the arrow symbol for a more detailing and let's play through it. There you go it's attached to the train. In the same clip I'm gonna add some more effect on that so let's see how we're gonna do that. So on the same track clip I'm gonna find some points. For that you need to select the layer and on the effect in the project window tracking as well. Once you select it's gonna appear the same points which I've already tracked. And then I'm gonna hold my alt key and select 4 points in the clip and right click and select the create solid. And then I'm gonna select the solid layer and do the same adjustment from the gizmo to make sure it's in the right position. Once done I'm gonna select the solid layer and on the toolbar I'm gonna select the shape tool and draw a rectangle mask on it. And then I'm gonna head over to the effect panel and find the saber plugin and drag it to the solid over here. Then I'm gonna go into the top saber settings, select the customize core and make sure to change the core type to layer mask. Then I'm gonna play a little bit with the core intensity, spread and bias until it looks good to me. And then again I'm going to customize core and go a little further in the timeline and hit the key on the start size and start offset. And again go a little backward on the timeline and change the values of size and offset. Once done, I'm gonna change the layer blending to the screen mode. There you go, let's play through. Looks good. And that's the basic introduction how the 3D camera tracking works inside Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna go a little deep into this. Okay, I have a drone clip and I'm gonna drag this down here on the composition icon. And then I'm gonna right click on the clip and go track and stabilize and hit on the track camera. And it's gonna track my clip. Once done, I'm going to find steady point throughout the clip and right click and hit on the create text and camera. And then I'm going to type some text over here as you know already and change the font, size and position from the gizmo. 
and then I'm going to duplicate the text layer and change the color to the black on the bottom layer and change the position a little bit from the gizmo and this will give you a little 3D text or shadow look in the text. Once done I'm going to select all layers and pre-composite and then I'm going to reverse the layer, right click, go time and hit on the time reverse layer. Let's play through it. This type of camera tracking really helpful for bloggers as I mentioned before. And let's go a little deep into the 3D camera tracking. On the same clip I'm going to delete the bottom text layer and make a new black solid and select the layer, go effect and go through the video copilot and hit on element. Once done, I'm gonna go to the custom layer on the element settings and scroll down to the custom text and mask and on the path layer one, I'm gonna select the my text layer. Once done, I'm gonna hit on the scene setup and it will bring us to the element 3D 3D space and then select on the extrude, boom. It's gonna appear my text as a 3D object and I'm gonna apply some material on there. You can see bunch of material here. I'm gonna click on the icon here and change the bevel scale a bit and change the material and I'm gonna change the environment as well. Once everything done, I'm gonna go select the OK right here. There you go. Let's see the final output. That's pretty much it guys, that's how we do 3D camera tracking inside the Adobe After Effects. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did like my video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification icon, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, I'll see you guys on next video, stay creative, peace.